So now let's talk about what we're going to do today. I've got some different topics in mind for today. Um, basically, for the morning, we're going to talk about periodontal disease. This is not your basic perio 101. We've got other ideas in mind, a, a thought process, maybe a kind of a more advanced thought process that will help you to come up with some reasons for why periodontal disease is present. Uh, we'll go through some treatment planning, basic treatment planning, occlusion, uh, motivation, things like that, that may not be part of your basic perio 101 class in school. Then we're gonna also spend some time on the issue of how do we get people to comply if we want the result of our periodontal treatment to be long lasting. So we're gonna spend some time talking about that and a little bit of the dental literature to help us make decisions on what's gonna be most effective. So periodontal disease, that's the morning, actually. I was just thinking that is the morning. Then after lunch, we're gonna spend some time talking about soft tissue grafting. And I think for the many of you that are hygienists, I think that you're really the first line of defense for patients that might come in and comment about recession that they're seeing, especially very common around the maxillary cuspids and first bicuspids. I want to give you some tools, some understanding, some diagnostic criteria that will help you to help them accomplish whatever goals people are looking for, whether it be aesthetic or functional from a sensitivity root exposure standpoint. So we'll spend some time soft tissue grafting. So between the periodiagnosis, which you may think, well, gee, this is for the doctors. No, I'm gonna really try to explain things and give you as hygienists tools that you can use in helping yourself and your patients to understand what's going on. So that'll take us through lunch. And then the first thing after lunch will be the soft tissue grafting. And then we'll wrap up the rest of the day with some exciting concepts about treating periodontal disease with a minimally invasive approach and using antimicrobial disinfectants. I'm also going to present to you that there might be a different focus on our treatment for periodontal disease, not just treating pockets. I've got a different target for you. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to give you some ideas and try to make it as effective as possible for you. 